Hello, welcome everybody. Today I'll be talking about the vicious murder of Bob Lee, the tech millionaire and founder of the popular cash app payment platform. In the early hours of April the 4th, Lee, who was 43 years old, was viciously stabbed and left for dead on the streets of San Francisco. Days later, the suspect, Nima Momini, was taken into custody. Lee, a loving father of two, was intelligent, lively, and well-liked. His death has shocked the IT community. Elon Musk tweeted, he was very sorry to hear of Lee's death. Lee, who was found dead with cocaine and ketamine in his system, was apparently having an intimate relationship with Momini's sister, Kazia, who is married to a prominent plastic surgeon. 38-year-old Momini is accused by the prosecution of stabbing Lee during a dispute over his relationship with his sister. A few hours earlier, before he was stabbed, Lee, Momini, his sister and another friend were drinking together. Momini, a software consultant who had known Lee for the last 10 years, was overheard interrogating Lee about whether his younger sister was doing drugs or anything inappropriate. It seemed he did not approve of the relationship. It is now thought that Lee's lavish lifestyle among the elite of Bay Area culture, where cocaine and swingers were widespread, contributed to his untimely death. Friends of Lee stated that Lee and Kazaya were members of the same secret society called the Lifestyle and were having an intimate relationship. Many of Lee's acquaintances worried that he had begun engaging in risky behavior by associating with the wrong crowd. According to earlier court documents, Kazaya texts Lee right before he passed away. I know Momini hits you quite hard, she said. So I just wanted to make sure you're okay, she wrote. And I want to thank you for handling it with such class. Momini and Kazaya arrived in the US from Iran with their mother in the late 1990s. They were born over a year apart. The siblings were very close, according to those who knew them when they were teenagers. According to acquaintances, Momini will do anything for his sister and she will do the same for him. Friends of Momini have said that he was in a downward spiral due to his issues with drug addiction, which rendered him unable to reason and speak. His love with weaponry and his history of abuse charges from ex-girlfriends. Besides his sister, I don't know whom Momini would consider his closest group, they claimed. He would give his life for his sister and she would do the same for him. An ex-girlfriend has also claimed that he had problems in his personal life. He was not nice behind closed doors, she reported. A series of security photos show Lee and Momini leave his sister's opulent apartment block together just before the violent confrontation. On April 4th, Momini repeatedly stabbed Lee in the heart after threatening to come down on him and repeatedly asking Lee about his connection with his sister. It was only 60 minutes away from Kazaya's flat to where Lee collapsed near the Bay Bridge, where he had been staggering and asking passerbys for aid. A short time later, Lee's body was discovered with several stab wounds. He had been stabbed in the heart. Momini and Lee allegedly reconnected that night at Kazia's flat in the Millennium Tower. Surveillance footage from the early hours of April shows the pair getting into Momini's white BMW and driving off. It is suspected that Momini drove Lee to a remote place a few blocks away where he attacked him with a kitchen knife. After that, Momini supposedly abandoned Lee in the middle of the street to die of his wounds. On April 13, police located and detained Momini, charging him 
with murder. Thank you for joining us today and we hope to see you next time on Eminem Crimes. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.